welcome back to Money and Politics. As we've been uh, reporting here on Bloomberg Television, the British housing market is in the doldrums. Last month, the Nationwide Building Society said house prices had fallen at their fastest pace since 1981. So you'd think the government would be doing all it could to help. Not so. At least that's the view of the British Property Federation. Home information packs, HIPs, which cost sellers around £400 to produce, are a year old this month and have been blamed by some for the slowing housing market, a sort of stealth tax, some are calling it. And in the commercial sector, many are blaming the government for some of its woes too. Take the decision to tax empty buildings. Some backbench MPs have revolted against the move because rather than paying the tax, some property developers are demolishing the buildings instead. Joining me to discuss the government response to the property slowdown and what it has done, what it needs to do, Andrew Teacher of the British Property Federation. Well, why should property developers have unsightly buildings, you know, littering around the place, and we have to pay for it, subsidise it at any rate? Uh, well, I, I think we have to actually get real about what business rates are paying for. Business rates are, are a charge for the provision of local services. Uh, and if you've not got a tenant in a building, then it's not actually exerting any strain on the local areas. You're not going to be paying for transport, you're not paying for any refuge collection, because the, the, the building is empty. And empty rates, as we're calling it, which is basically a cut in the rate relief that commercial property owners previously received on empty buildings, all that is is a tax on hardship. It's a tax on business failure. It's a tax where the building is actually making no profit whatsoever. And it's based on the completely wrong assumption that a property owner would deliberately keep a property empty. Well, it and has been known. There are all sorts of reasons why you might do that. If you thought the housing market was going, or the property market was going to rise, you'd be but daft uh, not to. But, but Paul, as you'll know, on, on a daily basis, the, 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 the commercial property values are, are you know, not in a particularly good way at the minute. Yes, but the government just doesn't legislate, you know, for shifting markets, it must legislate for a certain amount of time. Have, yeah, have it, it does. So that, that's, that's true. That's a fair point. The government does legislate for the long term. And I, and I think going, going forward on that point, the government has very wisely included a clause within this legislation that allows it to step back. It allows the government to say, actually, we're in a downturn at the minute. And you've actually got the option to reinstate the relief. You've actually got a, an option to, to take away some of the misery being faced by owners. And um, what we're hoping is that the government will actually take this decision and avoid any need for a U turn. Because actually, it's there within the legislation, it doesn't actually need any more legislation to come into effect. But effectively, you're asking the government to subsidise failed business people. Uh, we're not. What, what we're actually saying is that people should not be taxed on their hardship. And I think we need to look at the, the wider point here and actually look at the, the economics of how the commercial property industry works. The, the biggest hit areas on this are the most deprived areas of the country. They're the, they're the areas of, of England that really benefit from speculative development. They're the areas that benefit from a developer going in, regenerating the area, creating more jobs, creating a vibrant community by their investment. And if that investment becomes unviable, then they're just not going to do it. So the government policies on housing, on sustainable communities, and all these other things things that Caroline Flint and John Healy go on about, that's all just going to be totally negated by what is essentially a stealth tax. Shouldn't, shouldn't you guys, or the people you represent, simply drop your, the prices? That you're asking. Well, I mean, and that would get things moving. I, 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 I think you know you could speak to any member of the British Property Federation, and what they'll tell you is there's simply no demand. And you know you you can drop prices, you you can in, install fancy new uh, interiors, but actually, if there isn't a demand on a property, then taxing the owner of that property is not going to conjure up demand. Right. And John Healy's comments about this improving the supply, increasing supply and lowering rents are now being proven to be totally false because what we're seeing is less development coming forward, we're seeing rents will go up because obviously less, less space is being built and we are actually seeing certain owners being forced to demolish their properties early simply because it's a case of it's actually cheaper to demolish right. it than to maintain it without tenants. Now you would be derelict in your duty, uh, if you'll forgive the pun, if you hadn't communicated all this to the government. So what have they said to you? Well, we've actually, um, we, we have uh, seen a, a very positive uh, number of MPs actually come forward Yeah, and but sign. that's backbench. I know the Labour MPs as well, but the government, what's the government said to you? What's the, Caroline Flint said to you? What's John Healy said? Uh, they, they seem quite keen to, to stick to their guns at the minute. There, there is no inkling that the government is actually considering a, a, a climb down on this. And we're, we're not looking for a climb down. All we're actually looking for the government to do is take 
uh, you know, is, is take the, the option that it's cleverly put in and reinstate relief at 50%. But we've had no inkling that's going to happen. We've had no inkling really of where the Tories stand on this. And it is somewhat ironic that a lot of the support for this motion is actually coming from Labour MPs in left-wing constituencies. All right, we'll have to leave it there, Andrew. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very Andrew much. Andrew Teacher there from the uh, British Property uh, Federation. They're knocking down buildings up and down the country. Coming up after the break, we'll switch the focus on to rates, interest rates, with the three world's... Uh, let me try that again. With three of the world's biggest central banks deciding on borrowing costs this week, uh, including the Fed this evening, we take a look at what politicians can do to improve the state of the economy. That's next on Money and Politics. Stay with us.